I have traveled from west of the Great Divisadero to share the cautionary tale of Usi, Teb, and Ik, the not yet -ins. Our story begins deep in a remote mountain range, not unlike the Himalayas, where an intrepid mountaineer is about to make a startling discovery. <laughs> This is the Not Yetis. What's up? Introduce yourselves. Usi. Ick. Uh, Tev. Dr. Pat. Yeah. And our narrator, Sven, over there. Uh, another guy named Sven. Hi. How you doing, Sven? Super. Yeah, yeah I, I see. He's really, he's really thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to be here. So, so uh, how come you're Not Yetis? <laughs> Copyright issue. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know Yetis were copywritten. Licensing fees. Do you just have to insist to people that you're not Yetis? I think you're often being mistaken for being Yetis. Is that right? They assume we are, yeah. But we have to clarify over and over again that we're not Yetis. Yeah. But there's been sightings of you in, in certain places, hasn't there? Uh, supposedly, supposedly. There's no actual photos. Nothing confirmed. Yeah, nothing confirmed. Yeah, but but uh, you you guys are like are like from 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 the out in the mountains, or uh, tell me about where you're all from. I mean, don't blow up our spot, but we're, we're trying to pass as not yetis, because if they realize we're yetis, then no one's gonna let us play. So in order to get along in this country, we need to be something besides what we actually are. Uh, she, she bites. She does. Uh, I hope she had her shots. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, um, and, and, and uh, how'd you hook up with these guys? I, I'm more of a handler, so I'm not a not yeti. Uh, I just kind of, I try to, I book shows for them, uh, yeti themed film festivals, whatever we can get. I saw you guys at the Bigfoot Bonanza, and if you don't want to be mistaken for being yetis, that's probably the wrong place for you to be. We take whatever gig we can get, so, you know, we can explain ourselves in whatever context, but... Two weeks ago, we played a bris. Chapter of a tale with a uh, with a man narrating. You're right. It's a stale story about not yet. Is yeah. It, it, there's a, there's a whole through line of the story of how we became a band and how we broke up. As a matter of fact, so it's a bit ironic that we're still playing shows after we broke up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyhow, people seem to like it, so we. That's what we do. Yeah, well, you remembered you get paid when you do shows, right? What's that? You remembered you get paid when you do shows. What's that? <laughs> not enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now how, now, now, how do you deal with all these men? What men? <laughs> yeah, what? Really? Yeah, no, I don't see men. I see food. Yeah, well, you're talking to a man. Yum. <laughs> It sounds uh, very uh, 60s garage influence, like the classic stuff like the Kingsmen, you know? Yeah, I about them. That's kind of what we were raised on back in the mountains. We, we, we heard that music on their transistor radios, and it's just sort of what we know.
guys have any uh, releases out? I have releases all over the place, but no music. <laughs> uh, but we're working on recording everything, but uh, nothing yet. It's going to be what's known as a concept album. Uh, exactly right, yes. Uh, and then we're going to be recording after this show. We were practicing really hard for the show, and after this, we're going to record at Wally's studio. Is that true? Yeah, so catch us. Yeah. We'll be available soon on an LP. Yeah.